No clients, no money, period. It's simple. What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and welcome back. Uh, I skipped last week, which I try to do bi-weekly now, but I did skip last week just because I didn't have a day off. So here we are recording and trying to create content for you guys. So today I'm going to be talking about working in a salon versus working for yourself. Now, when I say working in a salon, I mean like working within a business, like with a business, not on your own in a salon where you just come and go as you please versus come and go as you working for yourself, coming and going as you please. Now, there is a major difference and I did write the pros and the cons to this because honestly right now I am working in a salon, I'm working for a company so the company pays me to do what I do versus me renting out a space and kind of just doing my own thing, making my own schedule. So I'm going to talk about the pros first and then the cons. Um, I don't know, how do I look? <laughs> okay. But yeah, I'm going to talk about the pros first versus the cons. So the pros is you can take in walk-ins. They come into the shop. Um, they're just looking for a quick brow service. They're just looking for um, a lash service or if you do nails, they're looking for a nail service. If you do pedicures, they're looking for a pedicure service. The pro is you have walk-in clients versus just sitting around all day not doing anything because you don't have anybody on the books versus when you're driving by you know you're like oh i need to get my eyebrows done real quick let me stop in the shop and get my eyebrows done so that is a major pro when working for in a salon versus working on your own so certain salons i'm guessing they'll provide so here i wrote down salons they provide um versus solo you have to provide everything so for me personally i work for a salon like i said and they do provide everything. I just let her know what I'm missing and she'll go and buy everything that I need for the services that I'm providing. I think the the only thing I'm not going to ask her for is tweezers because I like, to, I like certain tweezers and they're from Amazon. I run through tweezers very often so I don't ask for tweezers. If I'm running low on the glue, I tell her. So they provide versus you provide. So all you're doing is showing up and clocking in basically depending on the salon and what you guys agreed to you can make hourly plus commission or maybe just hourly plus tip or hourly commission plus tip so different salons are going to have that versus working on your own it's what you what clients give you is what you make and then from there you have to like split it up do the tax part and jibby jibby job okay and it's a good thing that i found this salon and I, they hired me because we they've been open for about two months and i started a week after they opened it was a route i wanted to go for because i don't know anybody here in texas so it was great for me because i wanted to be able to take those walk-ins versus having to brand myself and market myself trying to reach out to people and worry that nobody's gonna like me and not come back versus at a salon you know i get walk-ins then we get the the locals from around. You can do walk-in specials. So I know you can do this, but with your, when you're working for yourself as well, you can do like a Monday special or walk-in special, but it's so harder when you're working for yourself to do walk-ins because it's like, it's it could be bad, it could be good. There's no in between when trying to do a walk-in special. So con, I don't even know if I'm doing like pros and cons right, but we gonna do it. So con, it is harder to take clients. What did I mean by that? Like, okay, so maybe marketing? Oh, this is like from working from home. So I'm gonna talk about like working from home and working for yourself, like when you're renting out a space. So for when you're working from home, it's harder for you to take clients just simply because it can be, which on is on my list, um, house rules. You can't really have animals if somebody's allergic to animals or if you have roommates, like they might not want a lot of people coming in and out. So you have to be strict on who you're bringing in and out versus at a salon, you know, you take in whatever you can. So it is harder for you to take clients when you're working from home. Um, no clients, no money, period. It's simple. No clients, no money. There's no walk-ins. If you didn't have anybody in the books for that week, you're dead. Like, you make no money. How are you going to pay your bills? Versus when you're working in a salon, you're getting paid hourly, regardless if you're taking in clients or if you're just chilling out 
at work, you'll be getting paid hourly, so it doesn't matter. No clients, no money, period, okay? It's harder when you don't know people. So you're just starting out, you don't know if anybody's gonna like your work. It's just a lot harder for you to market yourself whenever you don't know anybody. Versus working in a salon, like I said, walk-ins. I love the walk-ins, you guys. I love the walk-ins. Um, and you must have a license. Why is that on a con? You need a license regardless, okay? Don't let these people fool you. You don't need just a certificate that maybe depending on the state, which I think maybe it's like three or four states where you don't need a license, but don't let these people fool you. You need a license, okay? Learn from YouTube videos and learn how to do this shit yourself. Stop wasting your money on classes, you guys. I'm trying to tell you, okay? But you must have a license. So eventually you do need to go to school and get your license to become a professional, okay? Let me wrap up this video. So overall, working at a shop, <laughs> overall working at a shop is better. Huh? What? The, girl, what did I write? What did? What? Overall, working at a shop is better when you're at a salon. That don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. Overall, working to me is better at a shop because. You're, you can market yourself as well as have the salon market your, you and then you're getting paid regardless if you're working or not. For me, that was my big thing here when I moved was I didn't know anybody and I really was, I was making money but I wasn't making enough money to where I was like happy and comfortable. Now I'm getting comfortable because I'm getting my shit paid and I'm going to live comfortably, okay? But Working at a shop to me is just so much better whenever you enjoy it and you enjoy the shop. If you're not enjoying the shop, you got to do what you got to do, okay? And it just allows you to meet and work with great people. If the environment is happy, you're going to be happy versus, oh, I got to go to the suite today and like you're forcing yourself to go work for yourself because it's just quiet in there and it's just you and your clients coming in and out. Like that's not fun. Um, eventually maybe here in Texas I might get a salon uh, or like a suite but for the meantime like right now for at least the next year or two I do plan on staying here for the next year or two I I will probably stay at the shop just because it is a great opportunity for me to grow and I've just learned so much and it's honestly great I can't complain so for me I rather take working at a shop versus working at home it gets you out of the house, you get to meet new people, and you're working in a great environment, usually. Um, and the money is good, period, sis. But don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And next video, hopefully, I don't know what it's going to be, but it'll be in two weeks, so stay tuned. And also, I'm going to try to blog more for the Pink Beauty. I know I've been slacking on that as well. Let me know if you guys like this video, my pros and cons list of working at a salon versus working for yourself at home. Um, I, why do I say um a lot in all of my videos, but anyways, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in my next video.